Yes, you read right. The spew and the rest of the Democrat state media are losing their minds today because the Supreme Court decided to hear Trump's immunity case. And so they straight up call for Joe Biden to just round up all the Republicans and do away with them. Exactly, like I've been telling you for years that they want to do. Well, the Supreme Court won't hear oral arguments until the end of April. Now, I just, you know, just let's look at a scenario where the Supreme Court says, yes, he has that. He has all those rights. He is immune from everything. Yeah. You know what Joe Biden could do since he is presently president? What? Whoa. <laughs> he could. Weaponize the justice system against his biggest opponent and his supporters. And attempt to imprison his biggest opponent just before the election, thereby rigging it in his favor and taking away Americans' right to vote for who they want in this democracy. No, you idiot! Throw every Republican in jail. Yeah. I yeah. mean, he could. I mean, no, 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 no. One of the most important lessons I ever learned from you, when people show you who they are, believe them. <laughs> wow. The audience started wildly applauding for that, so Whoopi had to quickly interject that it's not a good thing. But it's happening right now. It's just that they've all convinced themselves that it's okay because they really hate Trump and Republicans. Throw every Republican in jail. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah. mean, he could. I mean, no, 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 no. Why? This is not because a good thing. Totally because you have totally, totally, he can yeah. go. He, what this, this means is it's, uh -huh. he could do anything. Yeah. He could dismiss everybody's debt. What the hell am I looking at? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. Oh, that was different. But he is dictatorially dismissing debt, student debt, even after the Supreme Court said it's unconstitutional. Early in my term, I announced a major plan to provide millions of working families with debt relief for their college student debt. But my MAGA Republican friends in the Congress, elected officials and special interests stepped in and sued us. And the Supreme Court blocked it and blocked it. But that didn't stop me. I announced we were going to pursue alternative paths for student debt relief. Oh, that was different. Yeah. You know, there's a whole bunch of great stuff that could happen. It's not so great for the taxpayer or whoever does have to foot the bill because that bill doesn't just disappear. It's not so great for all those people who did pay their debts like suckers. And it's not great for the people who don't get their debts paid. But this is just another example of the leftist belief that whatever they think is just automatically good by virtue of the fact that it came from them. This is exactly what all the bad guys think about themselves. It's where the saying the road to hell is paved with good intentions came from. But let's let's really look at what this means. Yeah. So if, that so they're basically mm -hmm. kicking the can down the road though. They they're not taking up this case immediately. Right. So what's right. their motivation then? If they if we all know that we they can't do what you just said because right. of the extreme power that a president would have, right. what is their motivation for not doing it right away? Well, unfortunately, some people are saying the motivation <laughs> is that there are certain conservative justices that have been appointed by Trump that want to help him. It's Trump that would end up being treated just like every other past president. These people are completely deranged and warped by their hatred of Trump. It's completely blinded them to what they've become and that makes them dangerous to us all. And because we know the end result is if this case is not resolved by the time uh, of the election and he, God forbid, becomes the president of the United States, poo -poo. The, the Justice Department policy is that you cannot indict nor put on trial a sitting president, right? And so it's his get out of he jail. Could throw him in jail. It's but it's his get out of jail free card. No, no, I'm saying Biden could throw. Yeah, See, they, they, Biden this is a that. slippery slope. A, Everything that happens now is happening now. It's a slippery slope. It's already happening. In fact, everybody on this panel and on the left want these partisan DAs to put Donald Trump in jail. They want Trump in prison for something that Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton both got a pass on. They want to fine him exorbitant amounts of money so that he can't appeal for things every developer and bank in the country do. It's all just an excuse to subvert democracy and ensure that their guy stays in power. It's no different than when Putin does it. But, because but, if they if they give him this immunity, but I, what's good for the what goose I also is will say the is they're, yeah. they're listening to these arguments in April. The end of their term is in June, right? Oh, right. They return again, in, I believe, in October. The Bush v. Gore case happened real quick. Mm -hmm. Do you remember well, that? The Supreme Court how to knows this. how to work real yeah. fast. That was the day democracy died. <laughs>
Of course, with a mushroom cloud of irony still hanging over the stage, the racist Sonny Hostin wants to end this all with an election-denying conspiracy theory. Oh, that was different. We're talking about an election-denying conspiracy theory from the year 2000 that Sonny Hostin is now bringing up in 2024. Just a quick reminder about the kind of people that are on the most watched daytime television show in this country. They laughed and applauded when Jane Fonda called for the murders of pro-life people. They cheered when The View called Republicans domestic terrorists and that journalists at Fox News are terrorist recruiters who should be prosecuted. If you're actually worried about an authoritarian threat, these schools are the institutional support base that would ensure its operation. We're watching them do it right here, right now. Donald Trump, for all of his bluster, could never carry any of that out, even if he wanted to, because he simply does not have that institutional support base. They won't even support him when he's been democratically elected. One thing that Trump said that is dead on, 100% accurate, is that he isn't the actual target. You are. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you're still here, might as well hit that like button and make sure to keep checking back for more. See you all on the next one.